This video will explain how to find performance bottlenecks in applications with AQTime and determine what causes those bottlenecks and how to fix them. To find performance problems in your application, you can use AQTime's Performance Profiler, as shown right here. Using this profiler, you can easily find the execution time of your functions and individual source lines. And today, we're going to demonstrate how you can use the Performance Profiler to find performance bottlenecks and improve the overall performance of your application. In our example here, we'll use the sample Julia set application that's shipped with AQTime. This application performs some mathematical calculations and build a fractal. We'll profile this application to find and fix some bottlenecks within it, and then we'll try to optimize the application's performance. So to find and fix the bottlenecks within the application, we're going to profile it in two stages. First, we're going to profile the entire application to locate the slowest routine within the application. Then we're going to profile that particular routine line by line to find the cause of the bottleneck. Okay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I've already created an AQ Time project for our application. For starters, I'm going to make sure that I've got the performance profiler selected from this drop down right here. And now I want to make sure that I'm going to profile the entire application. So I'm going to do this full check by routines option right here. Once we've found the problematic functions, we'll use line profiling to diagnose the cause of the problems there. But for right now, we'll stick up at the routine level. So now I'm going to start profiling. And to do that, I just need to click this Run button right here. And when I do that, the Run Settings dialog is displayed. Now the most important setting displayed here is this Active Counter setting. This option allows you to specify what characteristics the profiler will measure. In the given run, we're going to measure the user plus the kernel time. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. I'm going to click the Run button. Okay, as you can see, AQTime has launched my application. And to begin the fractal calculations, I'm just going to click this Draw button. Okay, I fast-forwarded a bit. It took about a minute and a half for that fractal to get drawn. So now what I'm going to do is close my application down and AQTime will generate the profiling results and display them here in the report panel. Okay, so like I said, it took about a minute and a half for my application to draw that fractal. So it's pretty obvious that we need to perform some optimizations here. So let's take a look at the profiling results and find the bottleneck. First of all, I'm going to sort my results based on this time with children column. And that's going to show me the slowest functions. This time with children column tells me the total time spent on calls to a routine, including calls made to children routines. So what I can see, according to the data displayed in the time with children column, is that the slowest routine in my application is main. This is expected because the main routine makes up pretty much the entire application. So now, let's take a look at the value displayed here in the time column. This column displays the execution of the routine's body all by itself. By comparing results in these columns, time and time with children, we can determine why a routine takes so much time to execute. A routine itself can work pretty quickly, but it can call other functions that may perform slowly and make the routine one of the slowest routines in your application. So as you can see, time is less than time with children, so that means the performance problem is not in the main function, but in its child routines. So let's take a look at the routines that the main routine calls. To do that, I'm going to select the main routine here, and then open up the details panel down on the bottom of AQTime. And I'm going to expand this panel a little bit. Now information about the parent and child routines is displayed here in the details panel. As you can see, the main routine has several child functions. And the slowest of those functions is btn draw underscore click. And as we can see, time with children of this particular function is much greater than its time value. So that means this function isn't the bottleneck. So what we want to do is repeat this process until we find a child routine whose time and time with children methods match exactly, and that'll be the routine that takes the most time. So if we review the test results here, looking through, we can see that this method, get square mod, has the same value for both its time and time with children. So we can assume that that is, in fact, the cause of the bottleneck. So let's go ahead and take a look at that routine in a little more detail. Let's start out by looking at the source code of this function. So we'll, once we've got it selected, we can click this editor panel, and now we can see the exact code that makes up 
this particular method. This code looks pretty simple, so it's pretty hard to determine the root cause of the bottleneck at this point in time. So what we want to do now is profile just that routine down at the line level to see exactly which parts of the routine are causing the performance bottleneck. So what I'm going to do is right click on get square mod here, say add selected to setup, add to new area. I'm going to give this new area a more descriptive name, I'll call this slow functions, and we want to profile it down at the line level. Now I'm going to click OK, and if we come back to the setup panel you can see that we've added a brand new area here called slow functions which is going to profile that get square mod method. So I'm going to uncheck the full check by routines option here because now we only want to profile this one method. And so we'll start profiling again by clicking on the run button. Again, AQ time has launched my application. So let's go ahead, we'll click the draw button to draw some fractals and AQ time will profile that get square mod function. So as you can see, the bulk of the time is being taken up by these two lines right here, these calls to the math pow lines. So what I'm going to do is replace those lines with some simpler code. So let's go ahead and bring up Visual Studio. Okay, so I've just brought up Visual Studio, and what I'm going to do is replace these slow lines right here with some faster lines of code, which are right here. Then I'm going to save my application and rebuild my project. Okay, now I'm going to switch back to AQ Time and I'm going to rerun my profiling session here. Okay, my fractals finished drawing. Let's close the application down and take a look at the results. Okay, as you can see, the get square mod time took about 1.35 seconds. So let's compare that value with the results of the previous run. So I'm going to go to my previous run that we did a little earlier. And we can see that previously this routine took 9.22 seconds. So we've dropped that by almost 8 full seconds to fix that one particular uh, routine. So we've made a significant improvement in performance uh, with just a few minutes of work inside of AQ Time. This concludes our video on searching for performance problems with AQ Time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy profiling your applications with AQ Time.